Hello and welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm Steve Vonderhaar from Intelligent Research. Join us this time, Ken Roberts, the newly minted Chief Technology Officer over at Global Meet. Welcome, Ken. Ah, thank you. Thanks for having me. So congratulations on uh, making the uh, trek over from the education technology space over to the wonderful world of enterprise streaming. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your, your history uh, in the technology marketplace and what is appealing about your new role here at Global Meet? Sure. Yeah, as, as you said, I've been in the ed tech industry my entire career. Um, and, um, you know, it's I was looking to kind of get into something that was a little more adjacent. And, you know, and as I thought through the markets that were out there that were really boomed during the COVID area, I mean, ed tech, obviously, right, K-12 and how much um, how much that, uh, that grew during that time, but you know, the webcasting did the exact same thing. So there's a, there's a lot of influx of technology and new products out there. Um, and, uh, you know, that was, that was one of the things that drew me to it, right? It's exciting. And, uh, and I was looking for a challenge. Yeah, and uh, uh, it is a challenge in enterprise streaming uh, today. There's been some companies like Global Meat that have been in the in the business for a long time, and uh, you bring a set of fresh eyes to the uh, uh, to the situation here. Uh, and whenever anybody comes in new to a webcasting platform, maybe the first thing they look at is uh, user experience. Do you do you anticipate making any changes in how Global Meat approaches uh, the user user experience issue? Yeah, I mean, that was that was actually the first thing that I saw coming into the market, um, you know, again, three weeks in now, but, you know, looking, you know, I want to look at other products, what's out there, what's in the market. And, um, you know, some products have really invested in UI, but I would say overall, the industry is kind of lacking in that. And uh, that's going to be a major focus for the global meet, you know, over the next year, two years is um, you know, UX and UI design. Um, I'm very driven by the story that the UX tells and the features that drives um, that um, to the point of, you know, user, user driven design development where, you know, we'll, we're going to take designs and get those in front of the customers before we write any code, right? Just to make sure we're hitting the market with something that the customers want. Um, but you can definitely guarantee that there are going to be some drastic UI UX changes to the product. So, the so what does that entail? Is that uh, just putting some uh, chrome on the bumper, uh, making things look better? Or uh, are there other things that uh, you think make up a, a good uh, user experience and, and design metaphor? Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's both, right? I think there's some initial changes that can take place that are just making it look better, making it more intuitive, making it more modern, right? But then there's then there's a long-term vision of, you know, putting in, you know, it, intuitive design into the actual product that makes sense, getting out of the idea that a, a customer needs training to be able to use the product and things along those lines. But that's that's down the path as we, as we move to new technologies and things along those lines to, to bring that to the product. Now, another buzzword that uh, webcasting folks like to talk about is uh, uh, always centering on adding interactivity. Uh, mm -hmm. What's, what do you see on the roadmap uh, that's going to help drive uh, user engagement while attending a, a, a virtual event on, or any type of online event on the global meet platform? Yeah. I mean, it's, there's things that we've got coming out on the roadmap now from a, from a strategic standpoint. Um, we've, we've just, we're in the midst of launching um, kind of like a, a green room, which allows the audience, you know, you, you can coordinate it or bring audience members into the product to ask questions, but it's very curated, right? It's not just pulling someone up to the screen. We bring them into a green room. We prep, we make sure everything is ready and then we bring them on. So it's, it's a very professional, um, professional experience, but then there's, you know, bitmojis and things along those lines that people love to do. They hit it and it scrolls up the screen, things, you know, um, all of, all of those are things we've got on the roadmap now to bring, um, as well as, you know, I'm, I'm a huge data person, you know, what, what about that engagement are we capturing to make informed decisions about the product for the long term, right? How do we increase engagement 
through data, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's and that's a place I'm going to dive into um, as as we build out the roadmap for the future. So, so you're saying you're going to look at how uh, viewers and participants and events uh, react, or how long they stick around, and help that drive your decision making in terms of features and, and engagement uh, details that you're going to be incorporated into the platform. Or tell us a little bit more about that that outlook of using data to drive the user experience. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if if you take a stream and maybe this stream, right? Um, you can obviously look at, an, at where people taper off or they've, they've taken their browser and they put it behind or where they're, they're not actually, um, you know, they're, they're not typing questions. They're not, um, you know, they're not engaged in that way. Um, and, you know, where are they falling off? Where are they coming in? Um, things along those lines. I think there's, there's a lot that we can capture in that way um, to, drive, to drive that, in, that engagement. Now, most people blame uh, presenters like me for the drop-off engagement. What can technology do to change that narrative? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think that's part of the long term with with you know, AI, right? I mean, I, I I think you you know AI is just about taking data and in in and analyzing it and coming up with answers, right? So, what stories do you want to tell with with the data that you have? And I think using AI in that way to uh, like I, I just Things that come to my brain, right? If if a presenter is very monotone, right? I think AI could could bring that to the table and say, "Hey, look, next presentation, you'd maybe be a less less monotone, right? Be right. a little bit more energetic, things along those lines." Because it it all comes down, it all comes out in the bits, right? Mm -hmm. um, as you as you look at the audio stream, I think things like that we could we could look at and and uh, inform the speak inform the presentation post of here's what we think you could do to increase engagement um, in that way. Yeah, well, let's dive a little bit more into that AI notion uh, that's sure. driving so much new thinking in terms of software development now, and and uh, particularly as it relates to analytics. I think you you talked a little bit about the user experience in terms of the analytics. Are there other ways that uh, uh, AI can influence the whole data flow and uh, the experience that the individuals have, or how companies can actually uh, identify benefits associated with using these webcasting platforms. Yeah, I think I think right, right now the you know the position of AI as I see it, right? I think it's AI is a very fresh right now. I think AI in some form has been out for a long time, right? Again, it's just how you use the data and you interpret it. But now we're taking it and putting that into machine learning and looking at it in many different ways. And I, I, I you know I I think using that in the short term and the the near long term to take, I don't call it a menial, but taking tasks away from our customers to make them use their time in more efficient ways. I think that's that's how we want to use AI now. Um, you know, for example, you know, take looking at this and you know taking notes and summarizing those notes. Um, tasks could come out of it, right? Um, things along those lines. Um, I think we could use AI to automate that type of stuff. So it's uh, uh, really a green field of uh, software development opportunities for you right now. And and for, for many organizations, it's a matter of listening to the customer and exactly what that end user is, is seeking. And for companies like Global Meet that have been focused on the video webcasting market space for some time, uh, AI creates uh, an opportunity, I think, to, to offer applied uh, features, applied uses of AI uh, designed and targeted to so solve uh, problems for specific audiences. And uh, really, uh, in your role as CTO, that, that puts you in the catbird seat in terms of uh, trying to figure out uh, where you're really going to implement a AI in a way that it makes a difference. Absolutely. Again, it's, it's about, you know, part of that UI driven design and getting that feedback and then, you know, asking the questions as we're doing, going through the design and we're bringing the technology team into it is, is this a place to use, you know, AI um, to solve this, right? Um, yeah. So we looked in the, the, the short term or the, at least the intermediate term in terms of AI. So looking at crystal ball, take me three, five years down the line. Uh, what, what kind of, uh, far out things might we be thinking about in terms of where AI might take us uh, on the global meet platform eventually? Yeah, absolutely. 
And that's, that's a very tough question, right? Because AI is in such infancy, you know, who knows where AI is going to be in three to five years? There's, you know, what can we do with it? Again, I, I, I think that long-term, that long-term view of AI is going to be around that, uh, engagement increasement and, um, looking at ways to, you know, analyze the videos and the presentations that are happening and tailor the next presentation and inform the next presentation um, to be more engaging to to be to, to I mean just to make it uh, uh, you know a better presentation right I mean that's 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 what we, you know from a from a global meat standpoint we're representing the brand right every time a customer uses our platform right so we need to provide analytics and provide data in using AI of how do we make your brand look better? And I, I think that you know that comes from the UI and the UX design, but it also comes from how do we make how do you make your videos better using our platform? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a long runway of development, a lot of features, uh, some things we can't even imagine at this point in terms of what these platforms are going to be able to do once you have the capability to chunk through lots more data, uh, handle lots more data processing capabilities as part of the, the solution. It's going to be fun to watch. Uh, Ken Roberts, the new Chief Technology Officer at Global Meet. Thanks for taking the time to visit with us on Intelligent Video today. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And our thanks goes out to everyone watching today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Intelligent Video today to get access to more interviews with industry thought leaders like Ken Roberts. For Intelvid Research, I'm Steve Onderhaar. Thanks for your time.